We go shit, bitch. If I'm off of her doobie, I'm probably with Tookie. I'm loving this bitch cause she got all this booty. She think I'm a cup, but she only a groupie. She ain't got a hustle, she ain't nothing to me. Can't cover, she say she in love with my jewelry. Material bitches just do something to me. I need me a chick be humble, not bougie. Still want her and got my own rockin' that Gucci. Let the top and the dye, know the rain gon' come. When the tie come, boy, better spray your gun. Make them go better tie, know the day gon' come. Stack it up, stack it up, like a Lego, boy. So what's up YouTube, it's your boy Zay Styles and we back for another video man uh, But first, I want to just stop and let y'all know uh, Well, not even let y'all know, but I know this is not the scenery that y'all used to And that's because I'm, um, I'm away from college right now, came home, it's summer break Been enjoying myself, and uh, but we still gotta keep these videos coming Gotta still keep them rolling and whatnot So yeah, this new scenery is uh, my home place where I live, you know, and uh I think it's a pretty nice background and I love it so this will be getting with so yeah but uh so thank y'all first off well second I should say thank y'all for all the love and support and everything that y'all gave me on my previous videos I, I'm, I'm appreciating this getting me a whole bunch of um opportunities and everything already so yeah please keep that up thank y'all and we're gonna keep bringing y'all the great content that y'all loving and whatnot so yeah but for today's video y'all I'm about to show y'all how to create y'all own ripped distressed pair of jeans and uh yeah here we got this black pair they just simply black you know there's nothing nothing else to them it's just a black pair of jeans I got them from uh um Hot Topic it's a place in our mall I'm pretty sure it's everywhere I got them from Hot Topic because I a lot of other places you won't be able to find just a regular black pair of jeans with nothing else on it so I got them from Hot Topic um and we about to rip these joints up. This is gonna be my first time ripping them up, uh, ripping up a pair of pants like uh, on my own. I normally just buy them the way that they are. So we about to uh, go through an experience together. <laughs> but yeah, no, we gonna show y'all how to do it though, and uh, I hope it goes pretty smooth. I think I know what I'm doing, so we should be all right. But let's let's uh, let's hop into it. All right, Joe. So here we got it. These are the jeans and whatnot, and these is what uh. We about to rip up, you know. I'm going to take all these tags off because <laughs> I forgot to. So yeah, these is it. Um, so what you're going to need? Y'all going to need a, a nice pair of scissors, you feel me? Boop, pop, cute little scissors or whatever. You're going to need a knife. It, I don't think it really matters what kind. I don't, why is that not focusing? Whatever. You're going to need a knife. And then you're going to need something to mark the pants. Don't be like me. Don't have only a brown one. You can get like, pro preferably... Well, I guess it would just depend on what color the jeans are, but I just got this brown joint, but it's, it's okay. Y'all not going to be able to see it, but I'm going to be able to see it. After, um, I'm going to put the pants on, I'm going to mark where I want to cut, and then we're going to go from there. So yeah, guys, uh, y'all see, make sure y'all get a pair that y'all uh, like, you know, obviously, and then make sure y'all it fits well, because once you cut them, they're cut. So, with that being said, uh, I love the way that they're fitting me, you know, pretty tight everywhere that I need them to be tight, kind of loose where I need them to be loose. So, yeah, um, I'm going to mark it. Y'all not going to be able to see this, but I'm going to be able to see it. I'm going to mark this. Uh, let me see where I want it right around here. And make sure y'all mark it with something that uh, you'll be able to wash out because... After we get all the, the, the nice distressed look, oh shoot, after we get the nice distressed look that we're looking for, we're going to throw them in the washer, dryer, and then bam, that's what we're going to have. So yeah, we got that, um, I'm going to just do it right over here, got it marked on one, get this marked on the other. There we got it. Two marks. Um, I think that's all I want for now. Uh, if I feel like I need to change something, or if I want to like, some, I want another cut somewhere else, I'll do so. But for the sake of this video, we're just gonna have those two joints, and that's where we're gonna get with it. So yeah, now we're about to get into cutting them, y'all. All right, y'all. So we got them marked. Y'all can actually see it, which is pretty surprising to me. I didn't think y'all would be able to. So yeah. Go. So we got them marked, and we about to here uh try to 
cut them up, you know. So yeah, we're gonna go under the jean, like from the inside, like that. Put your arm inside it. Um, I don't know if that focused or not. I hope it did. But put your arm inside it and grab where you need to cut it. So and make sure you only have one, like one part of the jean. Don't grab both parts because you're gonna cut. You're gonna just cut the jeans into shorts. <laughs> so yeah. Um, So that's how you go. That's the first step, you know. And then the second step is where you're gonna need your knife. And um, this kind of can get a little bit tedious. So make sure you, you know, just make sure you got it, you know, or, or you got time, I should say. But this is what we're gonna go and do. We're gonna, we're just gonna slice it up. Like not even, we're just gonna keep rubbing it back and forth. That's all you're gonna need to do. And you do it like literally you're gonna do you might need something to hold this down. So I'll be right back. That's what I'm about to go get. This part uh really depends on how you want the jean to look. Um like so the if you want it more distressed, then you're gonna do it um longer. If you want it not so distressed, then you're not gonna do it as long. So uh you know you're gonna see the uh thread starts to come out. And that is what you want. So if that's what you're getting, you're doing it the correct way. Um, yeah. So, and then make sure when you do it, make sure you get in the little corner right there. Cause that's, um, otherwise it's gonna look weird if you don't get it done. So yeah. Yeah, uh, make sure you don't cut yourself. Cause, uh, don't don't be blaming Zay Styles. Like Zay Styles taught me how to do this and I cut myself. Nope. Mm -mm. It's your fault. You did it. <laughs> so don't, make sure you don't cut yourself, cause uh, it can it can kind of get a little bit easy to do so. So uh, just be careful. I don't want y'all hurting yourselves. You know, especially not on my account. You telling people I did it when I really didn't. Uh, see what I'm doing here that's gonna kind of pull pull the, the thread out for you uh, if it's not getting out enough to where you want it you can just kind of pull it down like like so if you got a rigid rigid knife uh, that'll probably be the best way to do it um, I'm pretty sure you can still make it work if you don't have one but uh like I'm pretty sure everybody has one of these in their kitchen somewhere So as y'all can see, we got the nice rips in it. Um, this is how I want them to look. But if you want them to look a little bit more distressed, you can definitely keep going. And it'll the more you do it, the more distressed it will look. Now I'm going to flip it to the other side. I'm not going to show y'all me doing the other side because it's literally the same thing. And I don't want y'all to get bored with this uh, here tedious task. So yeah, I'm going to stop it. And then when we're done, I'm going to bring us back to when the final you know not the final but to the next look. alright y'all we back and uh I think I have them the way that I want them on both sides so now I'm about to put them back on and I'm gonna show y'all what they look on me and I'm gonna see if I like how they look and if not I'm gonna do it all over again and I'm gonna show y'all again so what's up y'all we back you feel me and uh I got them all ripped up and stuff oh I like them but they not done yet you know just to uh to, to top it off and finish it out, make it look all the way completely natural, we're gonna have to throw them in the washer, in which I'm about to do. Um, and then once they washed and dried, I'm gonna bring it back, we're gonna be right here, and we're gonna show y'all the final product and how they came out. All right, so what's up, y'all? We back, and uh, this is the final product after we washed and dried the jeans. Um, I love the way they look, you know, nice, nice and distressed, they got a, uh, it's all fluffy and whatnot at this on this end, and it's the same way on this end. I didn't want too many rips in them, 
like up, down the thighs and down the other legs. I just want them here in the knee because of what my outfit that I got planned in my brain. So, um, yeah, that's just how I had it. But, um, yeah, that's how you do it. You know how to do it. So if you want to do it, go ahead and get to it. You don't gotta, you don't have to go buy jeans a certain way anymore. If you want, if you, like I said, if you find a nice pair of jeans that you think look nice and you just think they missing a little bit of rips in it, now you know exactly how to do it. And there we go. So yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video, y'all. I want to thank y'all again for all the love and support on all the previous videos. I want to thank y'all for tuning in to this video. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Share, tell everybody about Zay Styles because Zay Styles really doing his thing. Zay Styles really coming up and Zay Styles really dropping bangers. Thank y'all and we out. Peace.